even though he was only in a handful of movies before he was tragically killed, one man made such an impact in Hollywood that he is still considered a sex symbol and American icon today. His name is James Dean. James Byron Dean was born February 8, 1931 in an apartment in Marion, Indiana. His family moved to California and unfortunately his mother died of cancer when Dean was only nine years old. His father, unable to raise him alone, sent him to live with his aunt and uncle on a farm in Illinois. He grew up and was a fantastic student and athlete throughout school, but he also loved drama and public speaking. James Dean moved back to California around 1949 and stopped studying law to act, dropping out of college to pursue his goal of being the next huge star in Hollywood. His first TV appearance was a commercial for Pepsi, and he started getting cast in small roles and was encouraged by this tiny amount of success. He moved to New York City in 1951 to attend the Actors Studio, a place that's still world-renowned for teaching method acting with students like Marlon Brando, Eli Wallach, and Paul Newman. James Dean started getting more attention from his performances and returned to Hollywood where he starred in an adaptation of John Steinbeck's novel, East of Eden, in 1954. Most of his performance was unscripted and improvised on the spot, and the director loved it so much it was all kept in the film. It was the only movie of his own that he would see before his death. His second and most well-known movie, Rebel Without a Cause, was filmed in 1955. The lead role of Jim Stark, an angry, rebellious teenager who resents his parents, was perfect for James Dean, and it would go on to become a huge hit, especially with teenagers who at the time could identify with the character. His last film was called Giant, starring Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson. The movie was made in 1956, and the last scene of the show had to have Dean's words dubbed over by another actor because he had died during the filming. In 1954, James Dean fell in love with racing. He trained and drove in different professional events with the hope of one day competing in the Indianapolis 500. His favorite car was a brand new Porsche 550 Spyder that he nicknamed Little Bastard. On September 30th, 1955, James Dean and his mechanic friend were speeding down the U.S. Highway Route 466 when a car made a left turn in front of him. Unable to stop in time, Dean smashed into the passenger side of the other vehicle and was killed from several injuries he received, including a broken neck. James Dean is still regarded as a magnificent actor and film legend today. He was 24 when he died.